Being somebody born in the 80s, of course I love Predator. I discovered it in the 90s, watched it when I was far too young to watch it, and I've loved it ever since. The first one, I really do like the second film as well. The other ones after that, meh, I can take a couple of them, but... No, you know, I, I, I'll give them a miss. However, with this game, Predator Hunting Grains, which came out in 2020 for PlayStation 4 and PC, I picked it up on PS4 and I really liked it, but I hoped they'd add a lot more to it. And unfortunately, they didn't add too much to it. They added a, a few more cosmetic items and whatnot and a new game mode. However, besides that, there's really no new maps. I was hoping for some urban maps or some different styles of maps or maybe like a snow map or a desert area or something. Just different things. But I'll be honest, I, I, it kind of looks like they haven't done that because all you get is the pretty much the same handful of jungles. That aside, is the game worth picking up now late in 2024? It's, most, it's had a, a more recent big-ass update. Well, I say recent, it's probably a few months old now, but I've not had a chance to talk about it. And the game was finally released on Xbox as well. So, is it worth it? Do you know what I'd say if you can get it on offer? Yes. I hopped on it and was surprised that playing as a soldier, I found games pretty quickly. Playing as a predator, you're waiting a while. I waited roughly around three to five minutes to get in and play as a predator. I was incredibly rusty, so I only managed to kill one dude. But I'll take it. Um, <laughs> the game does play incredibly well on PC, especially with its new update, and on DirectX 12, and DirectX 12 is usually a massive dick, so I was very impressed with its performance there. Gunplay is still really good, the FOV slider is awesome, because now I can actually see what the hell I'm doing. The use of the film's soundtrack within the game is also a huge bonus, and more recently with the Starship Troopers game that just got out of early access if they'd have had the main theme from starship troopers in that it would have elevated the crap out of the game but unfortunately they don't uh the mud covering is also ace in this game being able to do that it's really really cool there's some really good customization that you can unlock on weapons and on your character and on the predator as well and the predator's weapons you there is absolutely plenty to unlock by playing with the in-game currency and leveling up the game is actually really fun. When played with fun in mind, that is. Some Predators or Marines go the min-max approach and they try the fastest possible way to win and they just absolutely rinse through the game or they just start hunt Some sweaty soldiers just start hunting the Predator and chase the Predator away and it's, it's not the way the game was intended to play. Now, of course, people can play however they want to play, but it's like playing football and English football, not American football. I don't know nothing about that. But that's like playing English football and then just, just deciding to pick up the ball and run with it like a rugby ball. And then it's not the way the game was meant to be played, so you shouldn't do that. But that's kind of like the, how I feel here, you know. You can... Um, you know, it's kind of like what Ian Malcolm said in Jurassic Park, you know. You're so preoccupied with the fact that you could, you didn't stop to think that you, if you know, if you should. But, anyway, that aside, uh, but when, pre when Predators play as hunters, it is a great time and it feels very much like the movie. Especially with the Predators, all the, the different visions he's got with the heat vision and going invisible and all the different weapons and the shoulder cannon. It's really, really cool. Now, the enemy AI for the soldiers is a bare bones wank. I will be honest, they've always been bare bones wank. They get the job done, they are something to shoot at for the men. Just get a little bit of bonus XP. You know, you can take a stealthy approach if you so choose, but people don't really bother. They just kind of munch through and they just min-max and get as much out of it as they can and get the job done. There are different objectives and side missions within each level, which are pretty cool. Of course, a lot of people ditch the side missions to just go straight for the helicopter and get out of their ASAP. Uh, like I said, the in-game currency, you can find it and different forms of it, and it's there's plenty of it spread out within the levels, so it's easy to find and easy to collect and grind for. There is... Uh, there is like I said, there's still the lack of main content in terms of maps and biomes and, and mission variety, unfortunately. But for the most part, I have to say that it's still fun. It's still a fun game. It's still a fun game mode when played well. And if you get the right Predator and the right team, you could have an absolute great suspenseful time. If you just come up against an absolute sweat lord, the Predator will just absolutely incinerate you instantly. I like to like stalk people, you know, get... the kill the stragglers and perform the executions on them and not I, I like to play the game and be the predator i don't just want to go on and just be the most efficient and effective way to to just win every single time yes obviously you want to go in and win but have fun too there is fun to be had and played correctly 
it is really fun. But please let me know in the comments down below what you think of Predator Hunting Grounds. It's definitely worth picking up, especially on offer. I wouldn't get it full price, but on an offer, absolutely. The player base is smaller, but now with the cross-play and with Xbox, PlayStation, and PC players playing, you will always find a game currently. So, like I said, let me know what you think, and as always, thank you very much for watching.